everyone. It is Lisa Cash Hansen. I am the author of Mompreneur Mogul, the blog that you're looking at, or Lisa Cash Hansen if you found me there. And I'm also uh, the founder of Pitch the Media Like a Pro and some other programs to help you, but mostly I am just a woman who really wants to help you succeed in life. So I haven't vlogged in a short while. I've had a lot going on. And uh, I wanted to just share with you, in this vlog, I'm going to show you some really cool things. I'm going to ask you if you're making the number one mistake in your business, because people keep doing this to me and I don't want you to do it. So I want to share with you what that is. And I'm just going to give you an update on what's happening with me in case you're interested and uh, some other things that I really think will help you. So let's get right into it real quick. Um, some of you may know there's been a WordPress hack that was a while ago. There's a plugin that I used. It's called WordPress Fence. So perhaps that will help you. I don't know. You'll have to do some research and check that out. But please do look at that. If you're wondering what's happening with my baby product, some of you who are new may or may not know that I was really blessed to win the 2012 Huggies Mom Inspired Grant for my baby product, the Snugwug. It is an interactive diaper changing pillow that has a cool spot for a smartphone and you're going to really love it. You can go to my website, S-N-U-G-G-W-U-G-G -G -G, to learn more or enter to win one uh, for free for you or a friend. So I sent it out. It's hopefully being uh, looked at for manufacturing right now. And when it comes back, then I'm going to go ahead and pitch it to a major retailer, and we're going to go from there. If I told you all the obstacles that I faced, we would be here all day. <laughs> so I'm not going to go into that. But I can tell you that if you want to do anything in life, there's going to be problems, uh, there's going to be issues, there's going to be frustrations. You just have to keep pressing through. Now, on to the number one mistake, because I really want to keep this video short today. So what I'm realizing, and you probably are too, there is a lot of noise going on. There's things going on in the internet. Which are like my visual effects. Whoa, there's a lot of noise. That's what it's like in the internet. You got Twitter, you have Facebook, you have 80 million coaches that say they can help you. And you may or may not be vying for that attention. So what is gonna make the difference for you and your business and how you reach people? You know, the other day I got a message on LinkedIn, which I love. And this is what it basically said. Hey, I can help your business. Are you having issues or struggles or, you know, I'm this and this and you should check me out. Well, first of all, I never even told them I'm having problems in my business. I'm actually doing fairly well. Secondly, I don't even have a clue who this person is. But what that did for me is it made me think, now I don't do this to people. I don't shoot out messages on LinkedIn and tell people I can help you. If they come to me and ask a question, then I tell them, you know, I can help you get publicity through my program, Pitch the Media Like a Pro. I can help you drive traffic to your website. I can give you tips for success. I'm excellent with tips on video and vlogging because I've been a professional performer my entire life. So if you need help in those areas, come to me. I can help you and coach you in those areas. But I don't just shoot out messages and ask people to, to do that when I don't know them. So anyway, this message came from this person and all of a sudden I thought, huh, so why didn't I do business with them? I didn't do business with them because I had no clue who they were. You know, this person could have been the number one coach in the nation, which I doubt, <laughs> but they could have been. And I still wouldn't have taken a class from them or, asked or uh, gotten their help because I have no clue who they are. So uh, I didn't know who they were, wasn't familiar with them, didn't come with a recommendation, and as a result, I hit delete. And I do that all day long. People pitch me for the weirdest things and I delete, delete, delete. So what I want to say to you is, are you making this mistake in your business? I know that you want to promote, I know you want to get more clients, or you want to get more traffic. But the reality is, if someone doesn't have a relationship with you, why are they going to buy your service? You know, the girls who are my clients, the women that are and my inner circle blogs to riches and the women who have bought pitch the media like a pro or men you know they recommend my services and then other people want them because these people are saying hey I took it she helped me I got national media or you know whatever it is they're saying they know me and they recommend me and so but if you don't have that going for you how are you gonna reach people you can do something like this by you listening to me on video it helps you just to know me a little bit better it just gives you a, a little bit more background uh, behind the business. This is the person who's behind the business and hopefully you like that person and you think, hey, I think she could help me. So the number one mistake that I don't want you to make, it's like this hairdo today, it's cute. <laughs> so I don't want you to, don't talk randomly in your video like I'm doing, but anyway, I'm keeping it real today. I don't want you to send messages to people that you don't know telling them how much you can help them. 
they have no clue who you are and they're not going to believe you can help them. I want you to work on building rapport and building relationships with people and then if you do that, it will help your business. And how do you do that? You can do that via podcast, you can do that via blogging or via video. And even blogging you might need a little more help because so many people also have blogs. So if you can just do a little bit more to help make yourself more, more personable to people, I think that that will serve you well. Now, okay, we're getting long, so I want to tell you this really, really quick thing. Many of you who have come and, and you look for tips, but you know, as a woman, there's so much more that I have to offer and I want to give you. So if you haven't looked at my programs yet, please do check them out. Pitch the media like a pro. Uh, I'm so excited. I just had a wonderful affiliate sign on and, and I can't be more thrilled that she's partnering up with me. But I want you to check it out because I know, I know, I know that it will help your business or Inner Circle members. We're going to do some revamping and you're going to love that if you want to come there. But this is what I want to talk to you about. I really do have a gift for inspiring. That means that if you have a dream or a vision or a business, God has really put something in me to help you, to lift you up, to make you believe in yourself again. I think that that comes, if, you, if you've if you checked out my video on my personal testimony on YouTube, you'll know why. If you haven't, you can look at that. But I think that that comes because my whole life I was torn down. And still, to this day, people love to tell me, oh, there's Hank making a guest appearance for you guys. Um, to this day, they love to tell me what I can't do. And so because of that, I like to lift you guys up and I like to help you. So this is what I would like to do. I put out a pitch on Harl and the, the response was overwhelming. But because you are on my list and you are the people who are dearest to my heart, uh, this is what I'd like to do. We're going to start adding some other things to my blog. And what we're going to add, right now I call it the WOW Project. I'm probably going to change that name. But basically that's Women Overcomers Warriors. That means that if you have a story where you have overcome in business or in life, I'd love to hear about it and I'd love to feature that. Because I don't just want my blog now to only be about my stories of success or what I've done. I'm still going to share all that. But I want to share what you've done to overcome with the world so it will help them. That, that this blog could serve as a place, Mompreneur Mogul, where women could come to get inspired, to be lifted up, to know that they can do it. So will you help me? I would love it if you do. And this is what I would need from you. You can uh, either put it in the comments below this video, because I do read every comment, so do comment and let me know something regardless. But uh, you could put it in the comments or you can email me. I just need two short paragraphs, that's all I need. Please don't send a novel because I've already got uh, like tons that I have to filter through. But two short paragraphs of your story, what it is, how you've overcome, and then you, you know your name and a little bit more information about yourself. Obviously, I can't put everybody on the blog. There's already too many, so I'll have to uh, spread it out, but I would like to feature some of you. So if that's interesting to you, just like I said, leave a comment, and also share this uh, video with a friend. If you know somebody that needs help with their business or could use this tip, please do share it. Share my blog, uh, share my resources. I would greatly appreciate it. And tell me how you think I'm doing. I love to hear from you guys, whether it's just an email that you send me or via your comments. It means so much to me. So thank you so much. I hope that you guys have a great day. Uh, oh, eight minutes. <laughs> I was trying to stay under 10, but we're close. This is what I have to say to you. Everything you've ever dreamed, you can make happen. Nothing is impossible for you. Don't ever let an outside voice tell you that you can't, and don't ever let an inside voice tell you that you can't. Yes, there's going to be struggles. Sometimes it's going to suck. Many days you might cry, but you just pick yourself up and you just do it again. And that's what I've done. I have to say that, you know, there's been some days where it's been very hard for me too. And I have cried or I have been frustrated, not just in business, but in certain things in life. But, you know, my husband said to me one day, what are you going to do, quit? Quitting is not an option. Success is for those who keep on going. Everybody faces obstacles. Don't quit. I believe in you. Have a great day. Thank you so much for spending your time with me and on my blog. It means the world to me. My name is Lisa Cash Hansen, and I really do believe in you. You guys have a great day.